Good day, brothers and sisters. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come, let us listen and reflect on His Word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God, and He healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached Him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there numbered about five thousand. Then he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about fifty. They did so and made them all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled twelve weaker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord the bread and wine of Melchizedek and Jesus. The first reading introduces us to the figure of Melchizedek, the priest king of Salem who encountered Abraham after his defeat of the four kings who carried off his nephew, Lot. Melchizedek brought bread and wine and blessed Abraham in the name of God Most High who delivered his foes into his hand. Then. Abraham gave Melchizedek a tenth of everything he possessed. The author of the letter of the Hebrews presents this Melchizedek as a type of Christ, our high priest. Jesus could not be a priest in the line of the Levitical priesthood in the order of Aaron because he arose from the line of Judah. Rather, Jesus became a priest in the likeness of Melchizedek by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed through his resurrection from the dead. Because nothing was said of Melchizedek's father, mother, or ancestry, or his birth or death, he is like the Son of God, a priest who remains forever. Melchizedek brought out the bread and wine and blessed Abraham, which shows him greater than Abraham because a lesser person is blessed by a greater. Thus, the order of Melchizedek is also greater than the order of Levi, who was still in Abraham's loins. In the second reading, Paul hands out the tradition of the institution of the Eucharist, remembering what Jesus did at the Last Supper and the whole of the Paschal events is not just a matter of keeping a beloved memory, it is a reenactment of sacrifice that continues to inspire and form the faith life of the believers. The anamnesis of Jesus holds together the past, the present, and the future. In the words of Saint John Chrysostom, it recalls all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the seating at the right hand, the second and glorious coming again. <music> 